What's going on folks? Hope you're having a wonderful night or day. Today I wanted to talk about a little known game called Bell Rite. It's a game being developed by a company called Donkey Crew, which if you're not familiar with them, they're actually the creators of a game called Last Oasis, which was quite popular a couple of years ago within the niche PvP sandbox gaming community. On top of being developed by them, it's actually published by a gaming studio called Snail Games USA, which is a quite popular company within the genre, mostly for their ties to games like Ark Survival Evolved. For me though, I go back all the way to knowing them from Age of Wushu, and even games like Dark and Light. I've been wanting to talk about this game for a while because ever since it's popped up on my radar, it's one that I have been very interested in getting more involved in, especially because I don't see this type of game pop up all too often. I was following a couple of titles such as Robin Hood Sherwood Builders that was similar to this, but not capable of delivering quite the experience I'm looking for just yet. I've been looking for games that could kind of give the feeling of Medieval Dynasty and a mixture between that and games like Bannerlord. Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, Warband, all of them is always going to have a special place in my heart, but I feel like I've played it so much over the years and even with modded content that I'm just so burnt out on it and I'm looking for something that feels pretty new. Not exactly in MMO form because I know there's like the persistent online mod that they got for Bannerlord and of course there's games like Anvil Empires that do offer similar experiences to that, but something in which I can get like a city builder experience, PvE, and be able to command and fight along and play alongside AI, something like that is really up my alley for what I like to add to my roster. I would say Bellright fits that description, but I know there has been some controversy around the whole Last Oasis game shutting down and the company focusing more on this game as a result. For me personally, there's not really any hard feelings there. Games can, you know, just kind of go out of style. They're not always timeless. Sometimes I think they just pass their shelf life and I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. But I don't want to speak on that too much because there could be other stuff involved in there that I'm not really too sure on. But today I do want to talk about this Bellright game because I do think that in its current form and what they're trying to deliver it's something that is worth showcasing. So just to give you a brief description of what this game is, according to the Steam page, you establish and expand your own settlements, liberate the land and assist its villagers, and recruit others to your cause while learning more about a life you had to leave behind. Command your forces, prove your valor through combat, and cement yourself as the hero of your people. They've already done a few blog posts, which I have been meaning to check out. Today, I want to focus on the very first one, which is an introduction to Bellright, and kind of go over the brief two minutes of detail they went into to describe this game. It basically gives you a general gist of what to expect when playing this game. They say that Bellright is an action RPG with directional combat, very similar to Last Oasis as you can see. Also games that will feel more familiar to you when you play this are probably like Mountain Blade for example. You have the ability to build a settlement, recruit workers, establish an army, and do narrative quests throughout the land. The story takes place in the Middle Ages with a tyrannical queen that is aimed at taking control over the entire land. In doing so, they have subjugated many of the villages and nearby hamlets, and as a result, they are now being so heavily taxed that they're barely able to survive. As such, it's your job as a rebel leader to raise an army, establish a foothold, and to take down the encampments and structures that have been built around in order to liberate these villages. So right off the bat, it has a Robin Hood vibes of the storyline, and then it continues on by saying, of course, when it comes to being a rebel leader, in order to accomplish this goal, you need to build up a community by having them join you and build various crafting, foraging, material refinement, and defensive structures to augment what your citizens can do to help you. These citizens are fully simulated, which is my favorite part I'm going to be putting to the test as much as I possibly can, and can assist you in doing things like hunting and gathering, producing items themselves, and specializing in unique skill sets. This is an open sandbox game where you can play how you want, whether it's fighting bandits, crafting, farming, or just doing quest lines. And just a couple of things I wanted to point out based on the footage that I was able to see a while back. There is an attribute system when it comes to the villagers that you're able to recruit, and I believe that your character has access to these as well. But it means that when you're looking through these different villages for people that you can bring to yours, you can be a little picky and have a little bit more freedom on who you're bringing into your village and making sure they're actually useful. My biggest hope for this game is that it is as free form as they say. I would like the ability to go off the beaten path and start my own settlement, build up a giant army, and then maybe somewhere else in the world, maybe go, maybe go to the queen's castle herself take on another giant army and just have both of ours just duke it out. I think there's a lot of potential with this, maybe in the future, unless they've already got it planned, even a full-on siege mode would be really nice to see. As far as the building goes, because I know there's going to be people curious about this, it's more of a modular building system, I think the correct word for it is. Whereas as far as the designs go, like the watchtowers and the tents and stuff like that, you choose from uh, presets. 
and just kind of place them where you want in the future or there might already be in the game other buildings that are more designable in that regard I'll, I'll try to find that out as time goes on but as far as the baseline ones you're going to be choosing for presets and then one last thing I wanted to talk about as far as the introduction goes is under the steam description specifically when it talks about conquering and expanding there's a passage in there that says that you'll be able to improve relations with other settlements grow your armies and liberate other regions from the crown to strengthen your cause I think during the demo footage I did see on the map like a user interface to support conquering other regions uh, don't quote me on that just yet but if I can find confirmation I'll try to show it on screen and then something else I'd like to find out I'm gonna end it here for now but I really am curious to know like if you're building your village and you're getting really big if there's going to be any enemies sent after you kind of like a I guess a purge system the old purge system from Conan Exiles or you know something like that to send opposition your way so that you kind of keep yourself in check or you know something of that nature there are two other blog posts available at the moment that I really like to cover so I'll get on those as soon as I can also looking into other topics that I like to catch back up on like Quinfall Norland Manor Lords was just announced officially and there was a really cool directional combat RPG that was just announced too but I'll leave it there for now please let me know what you thought about Bellright and I hope you have a wonderful night or day and I'll see you next time